Typically when we've generated AI content, we've made use of our dynamic elements. In this example, OpenAI to find a topic, for example, how to find the best service, then gone ahead and generated our page. We can see after several seconds that the page has been generated with our manually added content followed by the AI content and our closing statement here. If I want to make edits to my content group and therefore my existing generated pages, for example, let's say I want to bold the telephone number, I can do this, click update, and in my content group, go ahead and generate again. And as expected, it tells us that we've updated because the page already exists. And we look at the page, we can scroll down and see that our phone number has been bolded. The problem is that the text from the AI is now different. And that's because we've requeried the AI service to fetch some new content. If we don't want to do that, perhaps, for example, we're happy with the content that we've got from the AI service and wish to keep or save that when we regenerate our pages, we can make use of the custom fields functionality that content groups have to offer. In our custom field section, we have all of our dynamic elements available. And in this case, we can select the open AI element. We can type in our prompt, how to find the best service, make any other changes to the settings as applicable and click insert. You'll notice that the dynamic element shortcode is now populated here, and we can go ahead and give that a key name. In this example, we'll call it AI underscore content. We can reference this data in our content group. So instead of having a open AI or other AI dynamic element, we can delete that and instead go ahead and add the custom field dynamic element that comes with page generator pro. You'll see here that it says we need to define a meta key in the blocks settings, and this must match the meta key that we've got here. So in this case, AI underscore content, we'll paste that there, we'll click on update, and we'll go ahead and regenerate our content. And again, after several seconds, we have our generated page with the applicable content and our AI content here. But if we go and edit the generated page, we can see that our custom field element is here as a short code. And this is acts as a reference to the custom field content here. And we can see that the open AI or whichever service we use, the data from that is stored in this value here. What this means is if I then decide to go back to my content group and make some further edits, for example, perhaps I don't want to have an introductory paragraph, I can remove that. And let's also add some form of line break here, bold all of this content. And this time when I regenerate the content, remembering that the AI content is here in our custom fields, I can go down to the overwrite section and untick the custom fields section. What this does is it tells the plugin not to regenerate these items here in the custom fields area because we already have them in our generated pages and we wish to retain that data without overwriting it. So once again, we will go ahead and generate via browser. And you'll notice this time that the generation time is a lot quicker. And that's because we have told the plugin not to go through and overwrite the custom field section on our generated page. And if we look at our content here and we scroll down, we can see that our changes have been taken so we got rid of the first paragraph and at the bottom here we added our line and we put all of this in bold but most interestingly if we edit this page and review the AI content here if we expand this field and then the previous time this page was generated we'll notice that the content itself is the same so we have the same heading how to find the best bathroom design and planning do your research, consider your lifestyle, etc. And this is a great way of retaining AI generated content should you wish to then go back and make changes to your existing generated pages.